Welcome to a tutorial on 18th century buttonholes. This is another video in a five-part series on different types of buttonholes used throughout the 18th century. If you're interested in learning the proper technique for the buttonhole stitch, click the button in the upper right hand corner or follow the link in the description for my previous video. The closed work buttonhole or close worked buttonhole are non-functioning purely decorative buttonholes often found on men's coats. These will never be cut open and just serve a decorative purpose down the center front of the coat or on the cuffs, pocket flaps, or center back pleats. Often on antique garments you'll find buttonholes were marked in pencil, ink, or thread to make sure they stay nice and straight. And you can see here I've marked mine in pencil. You then work the buttonhole stitch over a cord down the entire length as we've discussed in previous videos. Make your bar tack at the end and then repeat down the other side. To finish this buttonhole, use an iron and press along the sides. This will help to align and finish the work. English and American tailors also used a tool called a notch board, or a small wooden block with a rabbit cut down the middle of it. The buttonhole is placed in the notch or the rabbit, and the back of the garment can be ironed without destroying the height of the buttonholes. Men's coat often have 30 to 40 buttonholes, so this will be easy to practice.